Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, I want to say what a way to end 2020. Throughout this whole year, um, none of my facilities contacted COVID. Um, none of my residents had COVID. And voila, um, they were all my residents were tested um, two weeks ago. Everyone was negative. And then they were retested and some positivity came through. I was too through. Um, I was upset because I felt like I failed my residence, right? And the family members were like, Donzella, you have no control over this. But I do not like being put in a position where I have no control over something. So I just felt like I, I failed my residence. I felt like I failed the family members because this happened. And, um, you know, like I said, we went through 2020 with not one incident, one hiccup, one nothing. And there are what, three, four days left until the end of the year. And, you know, we, we you know, I hit this COVID outbreak and it's crazy. Um, so, you know, I can't say, you know, who has it, you know, who doesn't have it. I will just say that my facility is in um, incubation period right now. And they will be in until January 3rd. Um, you know, I can't and I won't, you know, blame it on anyone. Like, you know, who brought it in, who didn't bring it in and who, yeah, I can't do it because guess what? It's there, you know. Um, but unfortunately, um, everyone is asymptomatic. There are no, um, no one has fevers. No one has anything. So you, you would never know. You know, I wanted to get people tested just for the sake of getting them tested. You know, and like I said, no one, everyone was negative. And then one of my residents had to go to the hospital for something. And um, the social worker called me and said that she had um, COVID. I was like, from where? No, that's not possible. All my residents got tested and it was negative just the other day. It's possible. So like I said, I was just kind of upset. Christmas Eve, Christmas, you know, Saturday, yesterday. Um, but today I feel a lot better only because, like I said, you know, the family members are like, Donzella, you have no control over this. This is a virus throughout the world, throughout the country. Why are you beating yourself up over the head? You know, and then I was talking to the health department and they're just like, you know, it happens. You're doing great. You're doing a good job. And, you know, sometimes I need to hear that. I need to hear that, you know, you are doing a good job. Um, and I do everything in my power to make sure that everything is perfect or almost perfect when it comes to my facilities. And I feel like the ball has been dropped and I feel like I, I dropped the ball. So that's why, you know, I was hard on myself when this happened. So, um, as I mentioned, you know, temperatures are being taken three times a day and no one has any fevers. No one has any type of symptoms whatsoever. And that is the part that's, that's great for me. Um, like I said, we will be in incubation period until the third and then prayerfully everything will be over. Um, the families do want my residents to get the vaccination, um, the vaccine. So I contacted, I spoke to the health department in regards to that to get on the list. Um, there's just so much going on with this. And then I was also offered to open a brand new facility in Ellicott City. I'm like, after this week, and I was like, Lord Jesus, I don't even know. So, you know, my um, nurse practitioner called me this morning that oversees my facility. He's like, Donzel, this is what we do. This is what healthcare providers do. Take a deep breath and keep on moving. And I was like, okay. And I'm normally not like this. I'm not. But like I said, I want everything to be perfect or almost perfect. And I feel that. I just feel feel or felt like I I I I I failed my residence. That's how I felt. But the family members are like, that's not the case, Donzella. Stop it. Stop beating yourself up. You know, they're sending me text messages and, and they're saying, Oh, you're fine, you're good, you know, it's okay. And I'm like, okay. So today, you know, I kind of ran around a little bit and um just kind of took it light. Came home about two o'clock and just kind of woo out a little bit just to gather my thoughts and get everything in order. Um, but yeah, that was my Christmas Eve and my Christmas and my weekend. So, um, yeah, 
So let me leave you on a note with um, January 9th will be uh, my first assistant living introduction 101 class. Uh, the cost is $75. It is January 9th at 11 a.m. to 1.30. This is not just for the DMV area. It is for the whole U.S. of A. If you are interested, go to my website at www.theassistantlivingcoach.com. I am here to answer any and all calls that you may have. I'm sorry, questions that you may have. You can call, DM, um, whatever questions you may have. I'm here to answer them. Um, better yet, register for the introduction class. All your questions will be answered then. Have a great Monday. Take care and be safe.